Greetings quilters. Okay, here is the scrap management system that I just love. I came across it, gosh, probably about six years ago when I was in Oregon at their quilt store. And the presenter of the class is actually one of the two ladies who created the system. Patty Bowers was teaching and Cheryl Kaufman. So all credit goes to those two gals. It's called a quilter's lumber yard and it's based totally on measurements that you would find in a traditional lumber yard. Two by fours, two by twos, two by eights, four by fours. And these are exactly the sizes that you will have once you've pieced them. So of course you're cutting two and a half by two and a half, etc. But when you get to your scraps, that's it. I have a stack, two and a half by two and a half. Those are my two bys. Two by fours, the most popular you'll find once you start to design. Four by fours, two by eights. And when I take my scraps and I get them all uh, cut out, in a box they go. Now this one's a little larger than some, a shoe box is once you fill a shoe box, you can get about a twin sized quilt top made out of those scraps. This block right here that I've laid out to show you is the very basic, they call it the crazy eights block. And I was looking online, I don't know how to get in touch with those gals or where they might be teaching a class because they do have copyrighted pattern materials and whatnot to uh, show you, give you pattern ideas. But this block right here, it's all made with two by fours. And depending on your color combinations, you can go light in the middle, dark on the outside, alternate those, combine them to make any number of uh, quilts. You could take a four by four and plop it in the middle and make a combination of those. Also, I would recommend a gridded notebook for if you're a designer, if you love that, and you can just take those dimensions and create tons and tons of different pattern ideas to use in your scrap design. Now you'll see here, I get a little pinwheel action because you can have and they call these, of course, now think of the lumberyard. These, I, if I remember correctly, they called these trusses. <laughs> I'm not a carpenter, but okay. I don't trim those. I don't even know what to recommend for you on sizes if you were going to shape those up right away. I just keep whatever was trimmed as a scrap. That's the size I have. And when I go to use it in design, I just grab. And you can see some of them are even a little bit cattywampus you know, with a little point cut off, but I can still make a decent sized triangle or truss, shall we say, to incorporate into my project. So there you have it, two by twos, two by fours, two by eights, four by fours, those are the most popular. As soon as I'm done with one project, I take my scraps and I cut them, I maximize. If I have a piece big enough to get a four by four, I cut as many of those as I can. And if I remember correctly too, in the class I took, those two by fours are your most popular. One more thing, because if you remember in my original post how I told you, I had already been in this quilt shop for an hour, my husband patiently waiting in the car. And at checkout is when the gal said, oh my gosh, you know, in 15 minutes, this trunk show is going to start. Why don't you stay? And I'm like, oh gosh, how my husband's not going to stand for this. And he so graciously said he'd go catch a movie at a nearby theater. So I was able to see uh, their example quilts and of course learn this system. And this is the part that I thought, okay, this is what he's gonna get excited about. If I have just made a quil uh, queen size quilt and I have spent over $300 on the fabric for that quilt, okay, great, but now if I can get another twin size or a nice comfortable throw size quilt out of the scraps, that really maximizes what we've already spent good money on, that fabric, right? So your shoe box yielding uh, your queens, or not queen size, but like a twin size quilt, you're, you're squeezing in, you know, instead of leaving $100 or something, 
in your scrap bin, you get to put it to use. Yay! Here's another tip, because I, I can remember Patty in the class telling us this. It, this is scrappy. Now you're in the scrappy group, so you're probably all, already aware of this, but it's not matchy-matchy time. Look at these. These, there isn't one single fabric that is the same. They're all crazy. And if you are of a matchy-matchy mentality, working with scraps might be a challenge for you. So I encourage you to just randomly choose and piece them unless you're going for a light and dark contrast. And then you'd want to make sure lights were on whatever part and darks of the other to create. But otherwise, go crazy and be scrappy. Have fun. Remember, Quilter's Lumberyard. Have fun!